Then one day she went away in clothes and shoes of iron. I'm not a I'm not a stellar performer, but I, I do what I can to stay as involved as, as I can in actually making music. Um, I don't know, you get a really different sense of what uh, uh, what kind of experience you want your audience to have. There's this kind of thing, you know, in, in music school, the role that uh, I think that um, we uh, we adopt a little bit a little bit too naturally as like putting some performers on the stage uh, to have a kind of a bad time playing your music for an audience that uh, uh, is is kind of stressed out by the whole experience, and you sit in the back thinking that you're a genius, right? Um, and uh, it's just a very different experience when you're up there doing it. So I really try to. Uh, um, uh, to be part of music making a lot so I remember what kind of experience I want to make for the audience and that experience is, is one that totally um, uh, was modeled for me beautifully growing up um, in a musical town where, uh, um, where people are gathered around it um, not just out of sort of awe and respect and whatever but out of uh, real love and enthusiasm so um, if my music is more, more tuneful and more clear it's definitely growing out of being a performer Getting to work with so percussion on a piece over the course of a whole year was really a, uh, a dream come true for me. It was really necessary to get to work with them over a long period of time uh, for this particular piece because um, while uh, the bowed vibraphone is a pretty common um, color special effect in a lot of contemporary music, um, I, I don't I don't know if um, anybody or I didn't have any sources that uh, had um, really explored it as a grounds for a chamber music all on its own and um, and there's just a lot of uh, technical considerations to work out um, which mostly boil down to um, how to not stab each other uh, right how to get all the notes and um, and uh, not run into each other I've had really unforgettable, transformative concert experiences. I, I mean, I, I want to tell you about one. It was a show where everyone was supposed to show up on their bicycles at midnight at a certain address. Um, and uh, they led us um, in a big pack of like 40 people on bicycles out across the highway to the abandoned airport. Um, we went through a hole in the fence. We drove, uh, you know, rode our cycles out on that. Uh, 
uh, across the tarmac to uh, a school bus graveyard where there are a bunch of like bombed out uh, dead school buses and they'd swept one of them out and filled it with tea lights and then played the most uh, um, weird, uh, weird, wild, spooky folk music. Um, and it was perfect, it was the perfect place, it was absolutely unforgettable experience. Um, and, uh, and I've just had so many um, times in a, um, in a formal concert where, um, where it just felt like the, the, all of the right feelings, um, all of the feelings I wanted people to have together as a community and for the artist and as a sense of participation in the music. Um, and as a sense of uh, it, um, you know, being an anchor to their scene and their their world. Um, uh, I don't know. Those energies don't always feel like they can flow um, in, in a free way. And um, so there's just something of me that uh, that still really likes again that outsider, um, the the power that's possible in outsider art when um, when instead of institutions uh, sort of defining the space, um, it's, um, it's tribes of one sort or another. Until this time, the human gas was undivided into nations, formless though not voided by impoverished relations, for the bond was strong, the bond was blood covalent and irascible, and yet the Strux could not extend beyond the punnet passable. Divide by food in the orbs of we are equidistant particles, dispersed by mouthless love, boil, Dunbar kinship molecules in gaseous state. But in some places, friction's getting warmer. And the frothy sea curdled, and the substance separated, and the sediment collected, pressed and formed the elevated on a power vector delta shape to optimize the distances between the kings and serfs, and the prostitutes and princesses. For the upward only knows a single word, and that is higher, unavoidably inventing the force multiplier. So mark it now, a bar line for the fulcrum in its birth. Give a place for me to stand and raise me from the earth. It's just a fact that I'm going to be enthusiastic about a lot of things, um, and I, th th it's hard sometimes to cope with because uh, I try to keep a lot of balls in the air. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to find a way to integrate more. I think it would be grounding and it would be uh, productive and it would certainly be efficient. Um, but uh, um, right now I just have to alternate. Um, when one gets frustrating, um, uh, I have an opposite to move to. It's the same with the way I, I compose in general. I am. Um, I. Uh, I try to use as many tools as possible, um, and uh, and I'll, I'll maybe begin at the piano, and then at a point of, a point of impasse, a point of frustration, I'll um, write it down by hand on paper and see what grows out of that, or type it into the computer, um, or record it, um, try to learn whatever that was on the guitar, um, or sing it, uh, and by these process of translation, um, I can uh, kind of keep a flow going through writing, um, and uh, maybe it's the same with, with uh, the kind of projects I pursue um, uh, on the whole, that by um, uh, that shifting medium and, and doing translation is just kind of an intrinsic part, I guess, of how I get notes on the page and how I get to the end of the idea. Mm -hmm.